Hey, this is Brandon with Pickleball Effect. Today I'm gonna to share the results of a lead tape experiment I did, trying to find the most efficient place to put lead tape. My goal was to increase the twist weight as much as possible while increasing the swing weight and static weight the least amount as possible. So twist weight is a measurement that gives us an idea of how stable and forgiving a paddle is, while swing weight and static weight tell us how heavy a paddle feels when you hold it and swing it. So essentially we wanted to make the paddle more forgiving and stable without it feeling too heavy. So I think I found the spot and I bet it's not where you think it is. But before I show you where that spot is, I'll just say that for the experiment, I used a roll of lead tape that weighed one gram per inch. And I experimented with a bunch of different placements and amounts of weight for about two to three hours until I found the sweet spot. To measure the swing weight and twist weight of the paddle, I used my Graffiti SW1 machine. And I did the test on two different paddles to see if it was the same result for both paddles and it was. So without further ado, the best place to put lead tape is just above the corner, right where the flat start of the paddle is. So this is the spot where you can have the highest impact on twist weight and the lowest impact on swing weight with the least amount of lead tape. To give you an idea of how good this spot is, if I were to put four to four and a half inches of tape down here on the throat area of the paddle, which is where I see most people put the tape, that's gonna give you about the same increase in swing weight and twist weight as three grams does here. So adding, so using less weight here is gonna give you a very similar result as using more weight down here in the throat. So this throat area, I messed with a bunch of different spots, you know, here and here, you know, split positions and whatnot, that this is just actually the most least efficient place you can put lead tape. I would just avoid this spot in general. And I would start right here with about three grams. You can go a little higher and a little lower, but this is, this is the sweet spot. So this particular setup has three grams, which is three inches of tape here. This is gonna increase the twist weight by about a half a point, which is noticeable. It's gonna feel more stable, it's gonna feel more forgiving, but it's only gonna increase the swing weight by about two points. So the stock swing weight for this paddle, this is the 6-0 Black Diamond, is 114. This bumped it up to 116, so that's not gonna feel, it's not gonna feel much heavier, but it is gonna feel more forgiving than it was before. So I also did this test on a lighter paddle. So this is the Valer Mach 1 Forza. This is the 14 millimeter. This has a lighter swing weight and stock weight than the 6 Zero does. So in this scenario where the paddle is lighter and you might want to add a little more tape, uh, you can add you know, maybe an inch above uh, the spot I originally showed, or maybe an inch below or just double down on this spot. But this zone is the zone that you want to mess with. You play around with the different total amount of weight you want to add here, but this is the most efficient place to put the lead tape. So there you go. That's the best place to put the lead tape. You're welcome. Thanks for watching and I hope it helps.